Hey everybody, welcome to Enliven Wellness. My name is Tessa and I'm really excited to be here and I'm feeling awesome. Yes! So, what is one of the biggest myths about vitamin C out there? I'm about to share that with you. But first, please subscribe if you have not hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you tap that bell button so you're notified when I go live, which I do often. So, what is the one of the biggest myths about vitamin C out there today in our way over consumptive world? Hmm? Is that you need a lot of it in order to be healthy. Now, I'm not saying that there isn't something to vitamin C therapies and like high dose vitamin C. I'm I'm very mixed on my opinions of that, but I'm not saying that there isn't a time and place. What I'm saying is that there's been a misconception that you actually need a lot of it in order to be healthy. That is not true. Now let me explain why. All right, when you are on a lower car carbohydrate diet or raw carnivore or carnivore, which is very, I mean, no carb. So if you're on a low carb or a zero carb diet, it's been shown that you actually have a less, you have less requirement for vitamin C. Why? Because you have less glucose coming in. And it appears that the need for vitamin C is directly related to the amount of carbohydrates that you have coming into your body. So it is, it's a proportional relationship. It's not an inverse relationship, it's a direct relationship. The higher the carbs, it looks like, the higher the need for vitamin C. Why? Because it appears that the vitamin C, like you need higher levels of vitamin C in your blood in order to deal and mop up the extra glucose in your body. Now, the glucose molecule and the vitamin C molecule are very similar in structure, very similar. And this means that they compete for access in the same metabolic pathways. Very interesting. So it appears that you need more vitamin C if you're taking in more carbohydrate to help mop up the, the glucose in your blood and help stabilize your blood sugar, which is really interesting. Um, so if you're on a lower carb or zero carb diet, that means that your need for vitamin C, like the levels are not, you don't need to have as high of a level of vitamin C coming in. Very interesting. And I'm not, again, I'm not talking about like therapeutically, I'm talking about like you don't actually need that much vitamin C. What's the actual requirement to prevent scurvy? Cause you might be like, oh, what about scurvy? Mm, 10 milligrams, that is all, right? And so you're probably like, well, how do you get this on the, like on a carnivore or like low carb or raw carnivore diet? Well, especially for the carnivore and raw carnivore crowd, organ meats. One three ounce serving of beef liver has roughly 23 milligrams of vitamin C, which doesn't sound like a whopping amount in today's day and age of like, you need to take like 4,000 milligrams of vitamin C. You know, like that's, mm, that's, that's, that's not true. You don't need that much. And you only need 10 milligrams to prevent scurvy. And if you eat organ meats on a regular basis, which is what I always advocate, on the raw carnivore and carnivore diet, you've got to have the organ meats. You have to, in my opinion, it's critical. They are loaded with nutrients, it's so important. I'll go off on another tangent. Anyway, and you'll get your vitamin C from there. Now also, there's a lot of evidence showing that micronutrient needs differ depending on what metabolic state you're in. If you're in a sugar burning state, your micronutrients, it appears, like the needs, like your micronutrient needs are very different than if you are in a ketotic state or ketosis, right? And you're in your ketosis and you're a fat burner. Very interesting. So keep in mind that these RDA recommended levels, those are based on higher carbohydrate diets. They're not based on lower carb slash carnivore carnivore. So, you know, I know for me, it's like everything that I thought was true sometimes gets flipped and I'm like, what do I believe? You know, but you have to think about it, like think about it primally and go back to like, you know, our ancestors or like what was realistic. Like they didn't have vitamin C supplements, right? They didn't, they didn't have these things and they were okay. Now, granted, we're still living in a, you know, much more toxic world than they were, but at the same time, right? You've got to think about it a little bit more realistically. Like you don't need these huge doses of vitamin C to be healthy. Maybe there's a time and place for high dose vitamin C therapy. I ended up 
having a really big backfire on high dose vitamin C therapy. Like, and I've heard of person after person after person having the same experience. I've had people come to me going into the hospital because of these things. I did, I, I poisoned myself with mercury because of, of too much vitamin C. Now I'm not knocking it and please know that like if you're a proponent of vitamin C therapy, by all means, I love your opinion, stick with it. I just, I just ask you to investigate it and look at it more legitimately, that's all. Like take a really objective look at it, that's what I had to do. I was not getting better on high doses of vitamin C. I was not at all and I was actually getting sicker. Um, so very interesting and I'm, you know, now I was like, okay, well I wonder about like vitamin C on this raw carnivore thing. That's what I found out. So if you think that if you're worried about vitamin C intake going raw carnivore or carnivore or low carb even, know that you're okay. You're, if you don't have as high of a carbohydrate intake, your need for vitamin C is not, doesn't have to be as high either. So think about that, all right? It's a direct relationship is what it's appearing to be. And make sure you eat your organ meats so that you get that vitamin C that you do need, especially like kidney and liver. Those are two great sources. And you know you need to make sure they're grass-fed, pasture-raised, all of that jazz. So if you're interested in consulting about the raw carnivore diet, carnivore diet, or even what I like to call a modified keto carnivore, then please reach out and email me and say I'm ready. And you can email me at tgirly7 at gmail.com. Also check out my website, enliven-wellness.com. And thank you again for being here. I hope this video like opened your eyes to maybe a new thought about vitamin C. And yes, I always like to, to bring up these kind of cool new things, new thoughts. So thank you for being here. And thank you to all my, my whole family of enliveners. I love you so much. And please share these videos and comment and subscribe and share. Um, thank you so much. All right, have a wonderful day. Bye.